wrestling a student arrested accused of trying to use a wrestling move on a principal. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahone is live outside the jail in West Miami Dade. Leanne. And that teen is still behind bars at this hour. Let's show you exactly who we're talking about. He is 18 year old Gianni Sosa, a student at Southridge Senior High School. Right now he faces charges of battery on a school official and interference with an educational institution. Now this is the incident at the center of this arrest. It appears to show Sosa attempting to perform a professional wrestling move known as an RKO on Southridge principal Umberto Miret. You see him actually put his hands around the back of his head. The cell phone video shows this confrontation. Then the principal is able to get Sosa into a chokehold and actually appears to throw a punch at him. Police Police said that Sosa was placed in an office and was later uncooperative with staff, according to police. Now, Miret was actually named the Miami-Dade County Public Schools Principal of the Year just last year. And according to the arrest report, Miret was adamant about pursuing charges against Sosa. Sosa did have his first appearance hearing today, defended by the public defender, who even admitted that this was one of the most unusual arrest reports he had ever read. So this child shouldn't even have been arrested. Understanding what an RKO is, because I'm actually, because I'm you actually. You understand what an RKO is? <laughs> yes, I literally, do literally it's this. Oh, stand right here. He's literally going like this to the guy. He's not even holding him. He literally, he literally is doing this. He, that's it. That's literally the extent but of it. You can't do that to a security guard at your school or somebody else. That I know. It's, it may be. It may not be. It's not. It shouldn't have been arrestable. Is the problem. So it's unclear exactly what was going on before that video began, before the attempted RKO. So we are still looking into a lot of unanswered questions. We know that the judge found Sosa to be eligible for pretrial services. That means that he could get out of jail at any moment today. We'll be here. We want to hear his side of the story. Reporting live in West Miami, Dade, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.